you don't understand, putting forth your best effort. That's all part of it. And that's going to that's gonna stick with you uh, beyond, that's not a school thing, that's a, that's a life thing. Um, and so far, your managerial skills, just being here tonight, are pretty good. Uh, at this time, I'd like to ask that everybody please rise for the presentation of colors, followed by the national anthem.
So, needless to say, you're not presenting an award tonight, you were giving one, so. She thought she was presenting tonight. Tonight, I am so pleased to be able to introduce several organizations and families that have decided to leave a legacy by providing the opportunity of financial assistance to our students in order to pursue higher education. Benson High School cannot begin to express our gratitude concerning the kindness and selflessness you display by giving our students a chance. Thank you for your compassion and caring. Thank you for your support. Our first presentation tonight will be for our Benson High School Alumni Scholarships, Barbara Kuhn. Good evening, I'm Barbara Kuhn, class of 1958. Are you doing the arithmetic there? <laughs> I'm also the chair of the 2019 Benson High School Alumni Scholarship Committee. I also want to thank Cindy Harvey, class of 1977, and Bonnie Barbie, who is also the class of 1958, for serving with me on the selection committee. It was a pleasure for us to read the applications of 25 smart, hardworking, talented, and ambitious young people. They impressed us, every one of them. It's my further pleasure to present five scholarships funded by the Benson High School Alumni Association and Chuck Davey, William Nitz, and the Gray family. Each scholarship is valued at $1,500. And the winners are Trey Foos, who wins the Benson High Alumni Association and the Charles Chuck Davey Memorial Scholarship. This will become evident as I describe Andy to you. Andy started playing the flute in fifth grade at Adams Elementary. He continued playing in the Monroe Middle School at the High Benson High School Band. In his senior year at Benson, his leadership responsibilities were section leader and eventually drum major. By the way, his cape and other items are displayed in the Benson trophy case. And he also received the John Philip Sousa Leadership Award in his senior year. 
And he stepped up his love for music by participating in the University of Nebraska Cornhusker Marching Band, where he became a piccolo rank leader, section leader, and was named the 2011-12 King Band Nerd Award. That uh, monitor became part of his Facebook page. Can you imagine a six foot eight piccolo player? He stood out on the football field and other band members and told their parents, just look for the real tall piccolo player. I'm the third row back, fifth person over. <laughs> but it wasn't just music for Andrew. Like I said before, he enjoyed helping others. This became evident to us at Monroe when after the concerts, he would help move the chairs, music stands, and set out into the music room. I like to think that he's doing this out of kindness and not as a consequence for classroom antics. <laughs> when he was an upperclassman at UNL, he would assist the band newbies by helping them move into the dorms. When the band went on road trips, he would assist the loading of large instruments and the uniforms. He would also come back to Benson during band camp and help others needed. It can be said that Andrew had a big heart. Ironically, he died of a heart attack February of 2012. After hearing about Andrew's death, fellow bandsman Dan Klo posted this in the university's newspaper, The Daily Nebraska. Andy lives on in the hearts of everyone who had the privilege of meeting him. Andy is the embodiment of kindness and compassion, and in the toughest of times, he was the one man who would never see with a frown on his face. He concluded with, don't worry, be happy, be someone's Andy, make a difference. Since Andrew's passing, we've been looking for individuals who fit the bill. The Benson King Banner, if you will. I think we have one of them here tonight. Andrew Brown, the band director here at Benson, writes about this individual. This person is deserving of this award and cares deeply about band and Benson. She is all ready to jump in and help out whenever needed, and is a great euphonium player as well. Let me introduce to you Andrew, this year's Andrew Kruger Harder Band Award winner, Marissa Montalvo.
courage is to tell the story of who you are with your whole heart. And we do this by showing up every day to live our lives. We risk showing the world who we are by putting forth our ideas, sharing our talents, sharing our strengths as well as our weaknesses, trying new things and sometimes failing miserably. But then we get back up and we move forward and try again. A close friend of Ricky's said of him, Ricky was always willing to take on new challenges and encourage others to pursue opportunities as well. Whether success was achieved or not, the experience was always something to grow and learn from, Ricky would say. I marvel at that sometimes, because I wonder how he had such a grasp of that at such an early age when I struggled to learn that well into my adulthood. And when I look at you guys, all of you, I see people who have learned this truth at a young age. You come from all sorts of backgrounds and situations, and each and every one of you has faced your own unique set of challenges. And here you are making a choice to show up every day, putting yourselves out there, moving forward in spite of, and perhaps because of, the challenges. And you're really living your lives. You all show such great courage and you are all so incredibly capable. And I'm amazed by this, and it makes me happy to know that we get to be a part of at least one of you going forward. Our recipient this year, who I heard was going to be late coming, so she's not going to hear any of this. Is she here? Oh, good. I'm glad. She's learned this truth. She is a person of care and culture who spent her earliest years facing the challenges of life in a refugee camp in Thailand. She came with her family to the United States for better opportunities and faced a whole new set of challenges in the process. While I can only imagine what this is like based on people's stories, what I've read, I know many of you don't have to imagine it because it's your story as well. She is a student, she is a mom, she is a talented artist, as well as a seeker of knowledge, experience, and meaning. And one of her guiding themes comes from Albert Einstein, who said, strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. In pursuit of that ideal, she takes honors and AP classes and participates in many activities, such as partnership for kids, college possible, thrive, youth club, and tennis. She's involved with her church, where she is active in youth group, volleyball, and soccer. She participates in community service. She is working toward becoming a nurse, not only as a way to earn a living, but as a way to give back to her community. <clears throat> she is known as someone who is dedicated, calm, composed, empathetic, competent, and a team player. And I can tell you, as a nurse, Without a doubt, those qualities will serve her well in the field of nursing. I have no doubt that this year's recipient will continue to show up every day, participating fully in life, and sharing the story of who she is with her whole heart. She will live life with courage. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Ricky Getchman Memorial Scholarship, Po Ed Schultz Nock. Elementary and later returned. 
attended his alma mater, Benson High School, for the last 12 years of his life. In addition to being a member of the security staff, Troy is also an assistant football coach for Benson High School. Troy loves seeing students succeed both academically and athletically. Students, friends, and family miss his genuine concern for others, his big smile, his laugh, his high fives, his hugs, and his sense of humor. Troy was one of those unique and rare individuals who made everybody feel like somebody special. His presence is truly missed. To honor Troy and his dedication to Benson High School students, a scholarship was created to help recognize those students who also love Benson High School and are actively involved in the school. Here to help present this scholarship is Troy's daughter, Troy Travis. <laughs> is Naya Dolly Sargent. Athlete 
and has to demonstrate leadership. Uh, also, a part of the process for the scholarship application is they're required to complete a physical fitness assessment. Stephen is a model student for the scholarship. He fits all the criteria perfectly. There was no doubt in my mind when I knew he was applying for one of these scholarships that he was going to be approved. Uh, he's an outstanding student with an extremely high grade point average. I can attest to you that his grade point average is well over 3.8. Uh, he, his ACT score meets the requirements, and he is an athlete. He has partic participated in athletics here at Benson High School, tennis, swimming, and some others. Uh, and he is also a leader. Leadership, which he learned to some extent through junior ROTC. He's also an accomplished mu musician, an accomplished violinist. Uh, if you haven't heard him play, you're missing out because he's great. Uh, he's shown leadership as a musician, serving as a concert master for several orchestras. And so this evening, uh, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to present the National Air Force ROTC Scholarship to Stephen Cruz. Getting to be accepted and you know not being forced into a small box, and that honestly feels pretty great. Um, after high school, I planned to attend UNL for chemical engineering. All right. Next, I would like to present to you the 15th class of honorees for the Benson High School Wall of Distinction. The Wall of Distinction was established during Benson High School's centennial year in 
The wall recognizes seniors who have achieved an exceptional level of excellence during high school. The wall of distinction display is located just outside the auditorium in the breeze away, and four new names will be added from the class of 2019. First, Micah Dunwoody. Well, everybody, I really appreciate being considered and I can't think of the other word, but being considered for the Wall of Distinction. This is something that I've really looked forward to ever since my junior year, let's say, of just my name being on the wall for generations of students to come to see and hopefully inspire them just as some of the other people from last year who've gone on the Wall of Distinction have inspired me have been, and have been through me through all my struggles and I, so I really appreciate being able to come here tonight and speak to all of you and to be honored for this and thank you Ms. Brown so much, thank you all.